Hey there, it's Katie from Substack, and today I'm going to walk you through setting up your publication for the first time. We're going to start by going to the Substack homepage at substack.com and navigating to start writing. Connecting your Twitter as you set up your publication will speed up the process and will even let your followers who also have their Twitter connected to Substack know that you have a new Substack publication once you send out your first post. But if you prefer to enter your information manually, you can click skip to continue. Next step is to enter your email address. It's free to get started on Substack, and there are no hidden fees. We only make money when you do. When you turn on paid subscriptions, Substack will keep a 10% cut of revenues for operating costs like development and customer support. Let's click Agree and Continue. Great. Now it's time to set up your writer profile, including your full name, first and last, or the name that people know you most by online, such as your pseudonym, helps increase SEO discoverability. I'm going to go ahead and enter my name now. Ben, tell us a little bit about you. And add a profile picture so we see you come to life. Great, let's continue. Now it's time to create your publication. In a few words, a good title captures what your publication is about at the highest level. A good test is to imagine that you're on a podcast and saying your publication name aloud. Is it memorable, short, easy to say and spell? I'm gonna go with fanfare. There's no perfect title and often they can be a bit abstract. That's why we ask, what is your publication about? This will serve as your one-line description, which appears with your title on your welcome page when someone visits your publication for the first time. The goal of your publication's one-line description is to signal to your target reader why they might want to subscribe. I'll write my one-line description now. Stories of music fans going to great lengths to see their favorite bands. Great. Remember, you can always come back and change your description and publication name later. Last thing to do here, pick your URL. All substacks are automatically set up with a unique URL domain. Publishers also have the option to set up a custom domain removing Substack from the URL after you finish setting up your publication for the first time. You'll be able to access that in the settings page later. Some writers opt to use their name as their domain. Here it's important to pick keywords that new subscribers might search for when they're trying to find your publication. So I'm going to go with fanfare. Click continue. If you're bringing your audience over from another platform like Patreon, Review, or MailChimp, you can upload a file now. Any email list that you have permission to contact and saved as a CSV can be uploaded in just a few clicks, now or later on in your settings. If you don't have an existing mail list, we'll help you build yours. More than 40% of all new subscriptions and around 10% of paid subscriptions to Substacks come from within the network today. Let's go ahead and skip this for now. You can start by building your list today by adding a few trusted family and friends so they hear from you when you send out your first post. As a writer, it's beneficial to know other writers, both for collaboration and for inspiration. There are lots of great writers on Substack and we're gonna help you get to know them. Tell us what category of writing you're interested in. I'm interested in culture and music. So let's click continue. Substack's gonna 
ahead and recommended a few Substacks that I might enjoy. You can follow along and see how these Substack writers are using the tools in interesting ways and draw inspiration from their work. I'm going to go ahead and skip for now. That's it. You're all set up. So let's do this. We've set a default coming soon page for you. You can go ahead and click the three dot menu and edit the post to give more context and color of what's to come ahead. If at any time you leave your publication and are struggling to find your way back, you can navigate to your publication by going to your domain, .substack.com. Now that you're set, all set up, it's time to go tell a friend you started on Substack. Thanks for watching.